Hello folks and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to use blending modes and a simple shape to help us relight a scene that's been colour graded in Premiere Pro. Now the scene I've got in question, or rather the shot, is a very simple shot of a character walking down this bit of countryside, this countryside lane, towards the camera. Now let me just show you the original shot. This is the original. It was quite a bit bright and a bit overlit for the effect that I wanted. I wanted something a little darker and a little gloomier. So I did a very simple piece of colour grading and I've added a luma curve just to darken down the image slightly. I've taken out some of the whites, although I might pull those back up a little, and I've adjusted some of the blacks down here as well, just to give the image a little bit more darkness and to boost up the contrast. The problem is though that what that's done is that it's made the character's entrance space here in the frame a little darker than I actually wanted. So I'm going to use a simple shape and a blending mode and a Gaussian blur to see if we can relight this portion of the scene. I'm going to start with a simple title. And I'm going to draw a basic circle. So I'm going to go to the ellipse and just draw a simple circle around the character, or more of an ellipse and an oval, I suppose to be honest, around the character like so. I'm going to drag that and just place it above my video clip. The next stage is to select the clip like so, and then make sure you're on the effect control panel here. Open opacity and choose a blend mode of you know, soft light, possibly. I'm going to go for overlay. I think it just mixes in a little bit more effectively. Now, at the moment, it doesn't look that great because it's got quite a sharp edge to it. So I'm going to go down to effects here. I'm just going to type in Gaussian. I'm going to go for a Gaussian blur. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. I'm going to drag the Gaussian blur onto the title card like so. So I'm going to blur this shape slightly just to help me relight and soften this part of the shot. So I'm going to take the blur in this up quite a bit. I'm going to punch it up to about, about maybe 200, 220. Should do the job. I'm going to make sure I've got this title layer selected. I'm going to click on the word motion here just so as I can move the layer around a bit. And actually you can see now I've got this slightly brighter portion that's helping me relight this scene, or relight rather the entrance that the character makes. If you want to, and in fact I might, I might even increase the scale of it a bit, just scale it up a bit more, and then move it around a bit. Maybe scale it just slightly more. And We've done, essentially, I suppose you could class it as a little bit of secondary colour correction. We've just relit this portion here using, again, let's just close these down, a simple title card with a Gaussian blur and opacity set on a blend mode of overlay. If you want to see the difference, because you might look at this now and go, well, that looks pretty much the same, let's actually hide this title card and now look at the difference. That entrance looks really dark. I'm just going to take the character back a bit. And it's it's not a great sort of piece of lighting that I really want in the scene. So this is what the additional title has done with the blended overlay and a Gaussian blur. A nice relit entrance for the character. Okay, there's before, there's after. Okay, folks, hope you found that useful. See you in the next tutorial.